Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I thought I would do a fun video today on things that ASMR and ASM artists have made me buy. I've seen a lot of videos about um, things that beauty bloggers have made you buy and stuff like that. So I thought this might be something fun and different. I don't know if anyone has done this before. So I did pick out a few things and I know there's more and I'm just going to keep thinking of more because ASMR is such a big part of my life. I have insomnia. I've had insomnia since I was a child. And one of the things that helps me get to sleep at night is ASMR. So I often watch like half an hour to an hour of ASMR a night. So this is something that I like good videos. I'll watch again and again and again. And of course they will start to influence me and some of the little things that the ASM artists are using as triggers, I will go out and buy. So I wanted to share a few of those with you today and also share some of my favorite ASMR videos and ASM artists. The first ASM artist that I started watching many years back was ASMR Darling, and I loved her makeup videos the most, but I actually liked all of her videos. And after I started watching her videos, um, often every night I'd rewatch them, I started getting the urge to buy makeup brushes because she does a lot of brushing the camera. I bought this set of Sonia Kashuk brushes during that period that I was watching ASMR Darling. Sorry, it's a little bit dirty, but it's a set of five brushes. There's three eye brushes and there's this face um, foundation brush and also a powder brush. At the time, I think I only had one powder brush and one um, eyeshadow brush, which I still have both of, by the way. So I didn't have a lot of makeup brushes, um, and I saw these in Target in the States, and I picked them up, and I use them pretty much every day. I love this powder brush for um, doing like contour and even for under eye powder. So she would do a lot of like the kind of brushing the camera thing. I'm not very good at it. But yeah. It's very, very relaxing. So yeah, these were really relatively cheap and I don't regret this purchase. I use them all the time. I don't usually keep them in their travel case, but I have gone traveling with these brushes as well. Um, yeah, if I went back, I would definitely repurchase them. Another ASM artist that I've been watching for a very long time and I still watch regularly is Ting Ting ASMR. And she does like really wonderful different kinds of videos. I like her makeup videos. I really started with makeup ASMR and then I branched off into other kind of role play ASMR videos. Um, but I, I still love her makeup ASMR videos. And the thing that she made me buy is this Tarte palette. I didn't actually buy this. I got it from a friend who was decluttering a bunch of makeup. But when I saw this, I really wanted it. And the reason I really wanted it was because of her videos. She often used this Tarte palette. It was actually a different one, but the same line, which is Rainforest of the Sea. She used it a lot in her old makeup videos and she used to mispronounce the name. It's the makeup brand is called Tarte, but she would call it Tarty, which was really cute. She just has a really cute accent. Um, so I saw this and I was like, oh, it's the Tarty palette. So I picked it up from my friend. And again, this is a palette that I use all the time. This is actually my only eyeshadow palette. I don't like to have palettes usually, but these are all shimmery colors and they all look good just on their own. So you don't have to do a really complicated look to wear this. And I love that these eyeshadows don't crease. A lot of eyeshadows crease on me. For example, the ColourPop Super Shock shadows, they always crease, um, but these do not crease with or without eyeshadow primer. So I love them. They stay on all day. Um, I just think the quality of these eyeshadows are really good. But the front of it, the pattern is starting to peel off because I guess it's, it's quite old. She owned it for a while before she gave it to me and then I use it very often, so. That's probably the same reason why Ting Ting stopped using this palette and now she has a lot of palettes from Sigma and I'm not gonna lie, like now I'm suddenly wanting a Sigma palette. <laughs> She's really, really good at selling me on stuff. So I have to watch myself with her videos and make sure that I'm not buying stuff just because Ting Ting ASMR uses it. But yeah, 
Uh, don't regret this one. Again, I didn't buy it myself, so maybe if I purchased it myself, I would feel differently about it, but I do like it. Let me swatch a few of the colors. I'll swatch like this one, and I really like that one. And there's only one color I don't use, uh, which is this color, because it's like the same color as my skin, so it doesn't really show up. But I do like all of the others. Look how shiny they are. They're so pigmented, they're so shiny, and they stay like this all day. I'm not wearing it today, but actually maybe I'll put one on. Um, I'll do this one. It's called Compass, and it's like a gold. There, what do you think? Do you like it? I just think this is such a simple look for every day that really brightens up your eyes and makes your eyes look bigger. So I really do like this, this palette and I like the brush as well. My next favorite is Latte ASMR and she's a big favorite. I love her videos. And I just started watching her maybe two years ago and she came out with a piercing video. So it's a, a ASMR video where she pierces your ears and I think it's also a cafe. It was a really cute concept and she just performs her concepts so beautifully and she comes up with these little details that really make it such an enjoyable viewing experience. Um, and that piercing video really got me. <laughs> so I actually ended up piercing my helix and I know what that's called because in her video she explains all the different parts of the ear and she has like a cute little drawing and um, she convinced me to get this helix piercing here. There is a sentence she says in that video, and I think it's like, oh, you should get a helix piercing because when you have your hair up, it'll shine on the end of your ear. And I thought, you've, you've really sold me. Like, I, I love that. So when my hair is up, I've got this little silver helix piercing there, and I absolutely love it, but there's no way I would have gotten it if I hadn't watched that piercing video like 500 times. I still watch it. <laughs> And actually only recently, I was watching it again, and I had to do an order from Simon's to get some curtains for my new house. And I needed to spend 10 more dollars. And I saw these earrings, and these reminded me of some of the earrings that she made in that video. So I just felt like I needed to have them. I haven't tried them on yet, so I'm actually going to put on a pair right now. And what goes best? I think I will choose the green ones. Wow, these are so pretty. I actually love them. Yeah, I, I really, really love them. And they were only $10 at Simon's. So for the three pairs, so I think it's a pretty good deal and I think they are so pretty. So yeah, another thing I don't regret, I don't regret the ear piercing, the helix piercing, and I don't regret buying these earrings either. <laughs> so, so far I haven't regretted anything that these ASM artists have made me buy. That's a lot different than the beauty guru made me buy videos. A lot of those videos people regret a lot of the things that the beauty gurus made them buy. My latest um, ASMR thing that I've been into is hair ASMR, like brushing hair. I really like um, hair straightening and hair styling videos. Um, Ting Ting ASMR has a few that are good, but my favorites are actually from a ASM artist, a French ASM artist called Nefertiti ASMR, and she has these the cutest um, hair styling videos and while I'm not good enough to actually do any of the hairstyles that she did, um, I did end up picking up some hairpins that resemble some of the ones that she used in her videos. So the first one is this gold pin, but the one that I really wanted to buy was this one that has pearls on it. And after I watched her video where she used a pin like this, I was looking everywhere to find one. And I got lucky because I actually found these at Giant Tiger, and I believe they were only $2 or $3. It actually came with a third one that's already broke, um, but that's okay. These were the two I wanted, specifically this one. 
um, I just thought it was so cute the way that she used the hairpins and again I watched that video maybe 300 times like I just watched it again and again every night and I, after you do that you just feel the need to buy stuff it becomes your style even if it wasn't your style before you started watching the videos so I haven't worn this that much yet I've worn it twice but my favorite way to wear it is like putting a little bit like a half updo and putting it in the back I actually think the pearls don't go with the earrings I put in so I'll probably use this one I can also just wear it like that to kind of keep the hair out of my face so I'll put it like the pearl one sometimes I'll put here or I'll put this one up there and it just keeps my hair out of my face a little bit so I've been liking doing that as well so yeah, Nefertiti SMR, like if you are Canadian and you also speak a bit of French, I highly recommend her videos uh, just because it's so soothing and the French sounds amazing as well. Um, I believe she's from France um, and she just has really, really interesting content lately. So I love Nefertiti ASMR. I highly recommend her as well. Okay, so I have one last one and this woman is not an ASM artist, but she does do like oddly satisfying videos, which I feel like are in the same kind of family with ASMR, and that's Dr. Pimple Popper. And if you don't know Dr. Pimple Popper, where have you been? Like she pops pimples and it's really disgusting and fascinating to watch. Um, and I love those videos. And I actually started watching a lot of similar videos and channels to her as well. And as part of watching like that kind of vein of videos, I did end up buying one of these, uh, I think they're called extractors. It has like this kind of loop here and it's got a loop on the other side and inside is a pokey thing. I think it's called a lance. And so you poke the pimple with this and then you use this thing to squeeze it out. I absolutely love this thing. I use it all the time. I use it on me. I use it on my husband. Um, I love poking pimples and like squeezing them. It's really gross, but it's something that I enjoy. I've actually always enjoyed doing that, but I didn't grow up with a lot of face pimples. I only got acne later in life um, once I started taking birth control. So my husband is not the same. He grew up with acne and so he kind of like hates it, but I love it. I love like squishing pimples. So I love this thing. I use it so often. I honestly could justify buying a second one. This one is from Sephora. I think it was $25, so it was quite expensive. I don't know if there are cheaper versions of it, um, but this is the one I bought. And I actually wanted to buy her skincare line. It's called like SLMD. And I looked it up, but they don't sell it in Canada and they don't ship to Canada. So unfortunately I can't buy it, but I really want to, especially her powder with SPF. I really want to buy that, but unfortunately I couldn't. So anyway, that is everything that ASM artists have made me buy. And I'd love to hear your favorite ASM artists and what they made you buy, because I'm sure if you watch ASMR that you have bought at least one random thing because it clicks or it clacks or because somebody applied it nicely or whatever in an ASMR video. Um, and yeah, so thank you for watching. Please check out my other channel, Lauren's Fitness Journey, and I will see you next time. Bye.